mention I was from Cleveland? Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, but having, having exhibitions here in, in my home state, it's, it's, it's great, great honor. And we, we do have a great relationship and we hope to continue to bring these types of exhibitions here to the Cincinnati Museum Center. And um, one of the reasons why we continue to do so is that this community embraces these types of exhibitions and as long as we have the support from the people and basically you keep coming to these exhibitions, we'll keep producing them and bringing them here. The uh, talk a little bit about this exhibition this morning, uh, Cleopatra. The, the story behind Cleopatra has, has really captivated the hearts of people for decades and the main reason is that it is a it is a great story. It has drama, trauma, sex, murder, deception, and war. What could be better than that? But when it really comes down to it, there's a lot left to learn about her. Her political motives, how she died, where she was buried, and even what she looked like. You know, when, when she, she died and, and committed suicide, uh, the the, uh, the Romans basically went around and destroyed everything that had her likeness on it. So one of the unique things, we've got little guys coming through here. Hey, good morning. Good timing. <laughs> but uh, I was just going to say, so there's, there's not many uh, visual to see what Cleopatra really looked like. So um, that's another intriguing part about this. So um, together with National Geographic, we've created this, this exhibition. And it's unique in many ways because we're using ancient objects to tell a modern day story, the search for Cleopatra. We highlight efforts of two great explorers, Frank Gaudio and Dr. Zahi Hawass. Both are searching for clues that will rewrite history. Frank is leading an unprecedented underwater excavation in the Mediterranean Sea, and Zahi is heading up the search for her tomb on land. The real exciting aspect of this is that with each new artifact from a world when it's unearthed, it could be the one that holds the answers to the mysteries surrounding her life. None of this would be possible without the incredible efforts of Frank Gaudio and the Hilti Foundation, and I want to say thank you very much for your efforts, and uh, without that, this, this exhibition wouldn't be, and it wouldn't be possible to be touring it around. So, um, look forward to having everybody go through the exhibit today. I hope you'll be thrilled. Actually, I know you'll be thrilled. So, thank you very much.